Welcome to Flash from Scratch, Tutorial 19, Orientation Tween. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm going to start a new FLA. I'm going to change the stage width to 700. Leave the stage at 100% for now. Pick up a anything but black for my fill. Pick up my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a little rectangle. I'm going to turn this into a, a kind of a vehicle. With my selection tool I'm going to grab the ends and push them in so that it's more like a, a wedge now. Click off to the side. Now pick up some black and make we're making a little, like a little car. Rectangle tool again. Make a little wheel. There it is. Selection tool. It's all highlighted. Get the crosshairs. Right click. Copy it. Click off to the side. Paste in place. And using my arrow keys, I'm putting it right there. And now I'm selecting this one. Putting it right there. That's my racing car. Actually, you can put front wheels on if you want. Take the selection tool and highlight. Make sure everything is selected. Modify. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. And I'm going to call it car, C-A-R, underscore M-C. Now, let's just do a regular. Let's just do a regular motion tween first. So if I click here, motion tween and we'll take it up to say 90 seconds or 90 90 frames I have to go to the 10 frame mark insert insert a position frame and let's just move this along a little bit to there go up a little more 25 same thing insert position frame and let's while we got it rotate it click it rotate it so it aims down no let's not do that let's just move it down a bit like that let's go up to the 45 insert a keyframe position and let's take it down a little further but less of an angle and up around 65 ish insert keyframe position and let's take it back up to here and let's just look at that control test movie and notice how when the car comes down if I scan pan through here see how the car it's like it it's not going it's going sideways so let's go to that frame here for a minute and rotate it looks like a good answer now let's go down to this frame. Let's rotate it back up. Now let's pan that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's it's recognizing that we turned it and it's trying to tween it from here to here. So this is not not the best. It's good for straight relatively straight lines, but this is not the best. So let's delete this layer. We still have the car in the library. So open the library up right there. If you haven't got it, you get it under window. Library. Open it up and let's drag that car back on the stage. Let's do something similar. Let's make our motion tween. And let's go up to about again 90 frames, plus or minus. And let's do something very similar. Let's go up 10 frames, insert keyframe position, and let's just move it ahead. Go 25 frames, insert keyframe position, let's make it bring it down. 40 some frames, insert keyframe position. And let's bring it back up 
round 70, insert keyframe position. Let's drag it all the way up to here. Uh, and nine, let's go to about 80 summish. Insert keyframe position. Let's bring it up. Oops. Control key. Let's bring it up like this. And finally, this last one, keyframe position, and let's drag it till it's back. And you can see the green, it's almost back to where it was, right there. Now, normally what would happen is, well, let's, let's pan it. You can see, again, it's turning sideways. Not, not very good. So now go on that first frame, on the timeline, open the properties panel, and this little box right here, orient to path. And watch the timeline when we do this. It generates all them frames. So now when we pan it, watch when it reaches this corner. Turns, turns, turns. So it keeps it in line. Let's make, pick up, make sure we get your selection tool. And let's make this an arch this one a little bit of an arch so it's going from around here let's make this one an arch and this one here slightly arched now let's see if that works hit my I got it on frame one I'm just gonna hit my enter key and look at that much much better looking now let's try something else let's try taking one of these sections uh, this one for example and let's drag it so that it crosses over a section there now let's try to get rid of this sharp turn here there that's quite a challenge I'm not so sure that I can actually do this or not Playing around with these till I get it relatively smooth. There. And I'm just going to hit my enter to see what happens there. Followed that. It followed that. Look at that. So you can make a figure eight racetrack with no problems at all. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I hope you use what you learn.